Hey everyone, Vinayak here. Crucial sent me their new P5 Plus Gen 4 NVMe SSD to try out. All NVMe SSD on my PC at present are Gen 3, so let's see how much of a performance gain we get using PCIe Gen 4. Storage is something I always have a need for, especially being a video creator. I have with me the Crucial P5 Plus M.2 NVMe SSD. I have the 500 GB variant. This drive is targeted at enthusiast class users with speeds up to 6600 Mbps. The P5 Plus supports PCIe 4.0, which is the reason it can hit those high transfer speeds. Let's see what we get inside the box. Okay, simple packaging. We have the drive and a small M.2 screw. Not every manufacturer provides this screw, and the one that comes with the motherboard might have been long lost. So being included in the box is really helpful. Here's the drive out of the box. It has a black PCB design with a black sticker over the hardware with the Crucial by Micron logo in the center and the form factor is M.2 2280 which basically means 22 mm wide and 80 mm long. These metal contacts go into your M.2 slot and this small indent is where you would install the screw to hold the drive down. The Crucial P5 uses the new Micron 8 channel flash controller. The memory flash chip used is manufactured by Micron and have the 176 layer TLC NAND design. The drive uses Crucial's SLC caching implementation for dynamic write acceleration, which provides speeds of up to 6.6 Gbps read and 5.0 Gbps write. The P5 Plus supports trim, smart data reporting, 256 bit full disk encryption, which is also Windows BitLocker compliant. The 500 GB model and 1 terabyte model utilize 1 GB of DRAM for caching. Now to replace my existing M.2 drive on my desktop. Backup done. Now to shut down the system and transplant the drive. This is my current system configuration. I will be using the slot closest to the CPU as this has full PCIe Gen 4 speed. But this being a X570 motherboard, both slots support Gen 4. The Aorus motherboard comes with a heatsink mount plate. I will have to remove the existing drive, install the new drive and use the same heatsink to mount it. The heatsink has a thermal pad and the current drive is stuck to it. This is a 256 GB drive I had procured when updating my HP Envy's internal drive. Sizes being a standard, both look to be the exact same. I do like the look of the Crucial drive. Installation is simple. Just align the drive to the slot and plug in. Install the heatsink back, which is in my case. Your motherboard might not have a heatsink, so just use the screw to hold the drive down. And that's it. No cables or power cords. It's ready to use. That's the beauty of M.2 NVMe SSDs. System is now booting up and opening up disk management on Windows. We are greeted with a dialog box indicating that we have a new drive. and we need to initialize it before it can be used hit okay and we see a list of drives available this 465.75 gb drive is the 500 gb ssd windows uses binary bytes when reporting storage space so it's 1024 bytes per kilobyte and 1024 kilobytes per megabyte and so on so the actual space available on a 500 gb drive is 465.75 instead of the whole 500 gb This is true on any drive, not just SSDs. I am creating a simple volume using the entire space available. Name the drive and done. It's that simple. Here's the drive all empty. You can download and install the Crucial Storage Executive software which allows you to enable the momentum cache feature and you can also download the latest firmware using this software. You can also see how much storage you have used. Monitor your SSD's operating temperature and overall health, and also verify the SSD's model number for warranty claims. Let's run some tests, shall we? Crystal Disk Mark. We can see that the drive reaches its maximum advertised speed of 6.6 Gbps, and also manages to cross it, which is great. Write speed at 4.3 Gbps. Compared to my Gen 3 drive, the Crucial P5 Plus is more than twice as fast. and here are the black magic disk speed tests
using HW info, we can peek at the temperature the driver is running at during idle and under sustained workloads. 44 degrees at idle. Let's see how high it goes. Not the coolest. It is running a bit warm. Could also be due to it sitting right above my GPU. On the higher side, it hit 66 degrees. Temperatures are a bit toasty, but it does manage to deliver on the speeds it promises. Crucial's P5 Plus looks like a solid M.2 NVMe SSD for the price. The design is also clean and doesn't stand out. Speeds are as advertised and getting double that of Gen 3 drives. And while copying files, it had sustained speed of around 1.3 Gbps. Warranty is 5 years, which is standard with other manufacturers too. The drive manages to perform well in my 4K timeline, playing back footage at full res without a hitch. And game and application load times were quite fast, shaving off a few seconds as compared to my Gen 3 drive. And Micron being a behemoth in the DRAM space, they did use their know-how to build a solid value for money drive. Not the fastest, but not slow either. A good all-round PCIe Gen 4 SSD, which doesn't hurt the wallet that much. So that was the video. Make sure to like, subscribe and also hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are added. Thank you for watching and see you all next time.